It was a house by the side of the road that had outlived its yesterdays and any hope for tomorrow. The house is built very well, and uh, it took us about 45 minutes to get an actual working structure fire. And as the fingers of flame crushed the old brick mansion in its fiery grip, it gave firefighters a training event, a chance to learn for these volunteers from Palmyra and the surrounding area how fire reacts in an old house and how they would react if someone were inside. But that might have been long ago, if ever, for no one's really sure whoever walked in its rooms, whose faces looked through its windows, or whose children played in the front yard where smoke now plays in the wind. It's sad. Not even Hugh Driggs, the owner, whose grandfather bought it back in 1919. His family's dairy only used it for storage. They never lived here. But it is said that one family did live here a long time ago. They were the only ones that had ever lived in the house. And they, when they bought it, it was vacant at that time. And it's been vacant ever since. Nobody's you know, ever lived there? Not to my knowledge, not to my, uh, you know, my father's knowledge. And he was born in 1900. So. Yeah. No one had lived there at that time. But what does live here lives within its mystery. Oh, there's been ghost stories about a family being murdered in here. And uh, at night, when you come up to the house or walk in the house, you can, you can hear the voices of the family walking and uh, talking in the house. You know, right now, that, that's history. It's going to be over with. It's no longer haunted. The ghosts moved on, so it's over with. <laughs> If any ghosts escaped to the nearby leaning dairy barn, their refuge was short. A can of kerosene and a rakish wind do quickly whatever time forgets. In minutes, the century-old shelter that had stubbornly stood against a thousand storms could stand no more. Like the house before it, its time had come giving these fire crews valuable lessons which might someday save lives, and giving everyone who watched a lesson that perhaps this was just a little bit more than a barn and a house by the side of the road. Lou Bear, Toledo 11, the News Channel.